was mounted on the wall and a small refrigerator that sat close to the bed. Hey, baby, she said with a smile. How are you feeling? I kissed her on the hand. I'm okay. She said coffee, leaning over the bed to throw up in, in a bed pan. Turn page. <laughs> no, you're not. I didn't like it when she got so sick from her treatments. Lately, they seem to be doing more harm than anything else. How long have you been sick like this? I asked her. On and off for a few months. But I, I do want to thank you all. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some of the stuff for her because I want to leave y'all with. I want to leave y'all with something. Okay. This is the light, and um, I think this poem is a good closer because. Many people have many talents, and a lot of people don't use their talents for good. And I always say, you, whatever it is, use your gift for good. I think if we had more people in the world with the talents that they have, if they use them for good, we would get much better. Okay. As we make our claim to fame, the light at the end of the tunnel seems dim. Unreachable when compared to life's obstacles grim. From the fog of the unforeseen future, from what some will call a loser, from humble beginnings in a dark past. Now emerges the horse that's built to last from the shadows of the deep, from the blackness of the unknown, and through the tunnel of fell expectations, and you wouldn't believe me if I told you situations, into a twinkle of a glimmer, being the hope and faith to make it another day to go out beyond the disappointment of impossibilities and allowing your confidence to breathe, reaching for a new life out of the past, through the rugged of the deep, climbing out of the valley of the unforeseen into a place of dreams, fulfilling the need to chase our destinies, determined to never go back. To outshine darkness, only looking forward to chasing Christ into the light. And with our soul shining bright, let's take flight and live life in the light. Thank you, guys.